hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my youtube channel and you're seeing my face for the first time thank you so much for stopping by okay my name is omo thank you so so much i really do appreciate each and every one of you for those that have been coming back to watch my videos that's my whole subscribers and to those that just subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for subscribing i really do appreciate you guys okay i know by the title of this video you guys already know what this video is all about okay so in this video guys i'll be um, sharing with you on how you can make your bleach um, skin oil treatment okay this um, bleach skin oil treatment will help in treating your skin that's if you have a bleached skin it will help in treating it okay so um that's for those that have bleached their skin and they have a damaged skin okay which you know you don't need to use any form of harsh cream okay to also still bleach your skin when your skin is already damaged okay so this oil that i'm talking about will actually help in treating of any form of bleach that's if you've bleached your skin it will help in treating it okay so um just stay tuned and keep watching and if you know you haven't subscribed please ensure to subscribe and also give this video a huge thumbs up at the end of this video so guys just stay tuned and watch this video to the end guys welcome back so right now i'm going to be listing all the ingredients you need for this recipe okay number one ingredient you need for this recipe you need uh, turmeric oil in this recipe that's we need 20 ml of turmeric oil then we need um frankincense oil we need 5 ml of frankincense oil in this recipe and also we need vitamin e oil in this recipe we need 5 ml of vitamin e oil in this recipe also we need carrot oil in this recipe we need rosemary e oil in this recipe that is rosemary essential oil in this recipe and also we need rose hip seed oil in this recipe and we need fennel essential oil in this recipe okay so once you've gotten all this ingredient i just made mention this ingredient where you can get this ingredient you can get this ingredient in a cosmetic shop okay where they say organic ingredients you can get all this ingredient and all this ingredient i just made mention are all organic ingredients okay they are not um they are not promising okay they are all organic ingredients okay so once you're succeeded in getting all this ingredient now you're ready to make the bleach skin treatment oil okay so once you've gotten it then get a clean bowl once you get a clean bowl then clean it up with your rubbing alcohol then put a hand glove or better still wash your hands so once you've done that then get a spatula or a spoon that you can use to mix everything together okay once you've done that then get um each of all this ingredient that i just made mention okay now you get the mo mustard seed oil you get the 60 ml of mustard seed oil and also turmeric oil you get 20 ml and also the frankincense essential oil you get the 5 ml of it and also the vitamin e oil that i made mention you get the 5 ml of it the carrot oil you get 30 ml of it the rose hip seed oil you get 30 ml of it rosemary essential oil you get five drop okay we need five drop and fennel essential oil we need 10 drops once you've gotten all those ingredients i just made mention okay and the measurement i just give to you guys okay so you add everything into that bowl once you've done that then you stir it all together once you've done stirring it you can use your hand blender to blend it all together okay once you've done blending it together then you get a clean container okay and pour it into that container then your bleach skin treatment oil is ready so you can start using it okay on your skin okay which will help in treating your bleached skin okay it, it will help in treating it off one thing you should know is this okay once you're making use of any form of organic ingredient to treat any form of actual problem you're facing or actual problem you're having you need to be patient with it okay you need to be patient with it you don't need to hurry up you don't need to like okay let me use it and let me start seeing results instantly it's not done that way it will get it will it will take a process okay that's working on your skin okay so you need to be very patient and also consistent when you're doing that when you have a bleached skin like you bleach your skin and you're having issue with it okay please you need to do away with any form of um, whitening product okay for now you need to do away with it because now you're about to treat your skin 
because it's damaged so you don't need any form of whitening product to start applying on your skin and you're using this treatment it don't work that way okay you need to stop the products you're using that cause the bleached skin and one thing that causes others bleached skin are those ingredients that um that's very very harmful to the skin like um like uh, hydroquinone okay hydroquinone is very very harmful for if you don't know how to make use of it okay it's very very it will damage your skin that's if you don't know how to make use of it most people like they will tell them in in the caution of the product they are for instance you buy a product and it's written on the on the on the booklet that use it for certain period of time and discontinue using it okay but some people will not do that they will start to continue using it why because they are getting the effective result of what the product is doing okay which is not good okay because the the people that produce that cream actually give a a prescription about that product on how to use it and you're going against it which will be very very harmful for your skin okay so one thing you should know is when you're getting a product and it's written boldly on it use it in, use it in this setting amount and use it in this period of time do exactly the way they told you to use that product because when you go against that product it will actually get a side effect on you which is not very very good on your skin okay so when you want to use this recipe i just gave to you you need to be very very conscious of what you're applying on your skin as well when you are applying this treatment oil because you would want the situation whereby you are you still using the you have to um do away with the bleach um products you're using okay another thing that causes this skin bleach is when you when you're missing different kind of creams which you're not supposed to do okay because there are some products that you don't have to miss them together you just have to use them the way it is okay but you go ahead and miss it why because maybe someone else used it and the the the, the, the effectiveness of what is given to that person you like it okay because what you should know is this what what work for my skin when you use it will not work for your skin okay because skins are different okay what my skin can accept will not be the same of what your own skin will accept okay that's why it's very very good when you when you into skincare products or if you want to start doing other skin products okay you need to know your skin type you need to know what your skin can absorb okay what your skin can take okay another thing i made mention of is um exfoliating okay that's you need to get a body scrub not whitening body scrub okay you need to get a body scrub it can be a mind body scrub or a sugar body scrub or a salt body scrub whichever body scrub you want okay you need to get a body scrub to exfoliate your skin because it's very very important when you're treating your skin due to bleach okay and you need this body scrub to help to remove every form of dead skin cells from your skin i'll be leaving the link of how you can make your body scrub that is a turmeric body scrub either here or on our description box so you can go and check out the video on how you can make your body scrub your exfoliating body scrub at home which will be very very good okay to help in removing every form of dead cells from your skin okay so that this um oil you're about to be very effective on you okay so guys you need to include it into this uh, recipe that i just gave yes. another thing i would like to emphasize a little about is um is some people don't really know that um promising is not actually bad okay it's not bad it's a good thing okay that's if you know how to promise it's very very good it will give you the effectiveness of the result you want without giving you any side effect without um damaging your skin okay but some people don't know how to promise they'll go and miss different kind of uh, products like carry carry white carry this carry that and miss everything together okay which will be very very harmful that's when some people you see some people having different different um colors on their skin you see one side is black one side is fair one place is chocolate one she understands so some people have start having such such irritation on their skin based on the fact that they went to promise different kind of product okay one thing you should know is it doesn't matter how many products you're missing all together okay you can just have two products mixed together and it will give you the results you want okay so promising is is actually good in one way that's if you know how to promise okay because most of these big brands you're seeing most of them are not 
organic okay most of them are promising okay they do promising but they won't tell you that it's will promise it. they would rather they will tell you it's organic why because their promising is being done in a rightful way okay one thing you should know is this when you know more of uh organic ingredients like if you know more of organic like you 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 study more of organic you definitely know how to do a promising because you you promising you definitely go through the ingredients used on that product like if i'm getting um uh carol white um body lotion definitely i'll go through all the ingredients using uh, making that carol white photo. through that ingredient you see that okay all the ingredient that is being listed on that carol white that they use in making that carol white you can for instance i have carol white here and also i have white um let me use it uh whitening cream yeah okay and the ingredients in this whitening cream and also the ingredients in this carry white when i know that when i mix both of them together it will not give me any side effect that's when it's a good promising okay not when you know that with the ingredients here you cannot combine the ingredient that is being used to make this carry white with the one that is being used to make this one then you now add it all together you start using it before you know you start getting bad result of what you're using which is not very very good okay so when you know more of your ingredients you know how to mix them together definitely you will know how promise in a rightful way okay so promising is not actually a bad thing that's if you know how to promise in the right way like i said earlier okay so guys um, most of all those things can actually cause um bleach skin okay that's if you don't know your ingredients and you went and mix it all together you start using it it's actually we damage your skin before you know you start having sunburn you start having ratchet you start having discoloration you start having hezema and also hyperpigmentation and the rest of it on your skin okay another thing you should know is this okay not only promising can actually bleach your skin okay organic ingredients can actually damage your skin okay waiting sweet they also get with it where sideways for the bitter okay so what i'm trying to say in ss is this okay not that okay organic is not good organic is good that's if you know Know how to make it from scratch in a good and a well percentage rate okay that's if you know how to miss it if you know how to calculate if you know how to do every of those things it's very very good not when you went to miss um, um uh maybe let me say for instance you went to miss um kojic acid in a high percentage when the percentage rate is two percent you went to put maybe uh 20 percent in a little amount of uh lotion something like that okay it will give you a uh, retention on your skin something like that okay so when you're promising or you're making a um, product from scratch you also need to get conscious of everything you're making use of okay you need to know how to calculate you need to know how to balance every of your products okay okay like i said earlier on please do away with any form of whitening product for now or any form of bleaching product for now because you're about to tr you're treating your skin and you don't need all those products okay so guys without wasting much of your time that's all the ingredients and also on how you can um uh, make use of it and how you can mix it together that i just explained to you okay guys so if this video was helpful and useful to you please ensure to give this video a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel leave your comments in the comment section if you have any question to ask please ensure to leave it in the comment section i'll definitely reply to you and also please if you have any video requests you want me to make okay any video you want me to do any uh, products you want me to do a review of please also leave it in the comment section i really do appreciate that okay thank you so much for watching this video to this extent and i will see you all in my next video bye